speaking now of the bridge between mm -hmm. um, IEA and SSID, is there, are there projects other than those two that we have amplified on that you do at IEA or that you, uh, you know, that you are truly yeah. working on? Yeah, so at IEA then I of course did the constituency work mm -hmm. and that was also huge mm -hmm. at the time when we did, before it, before the youth scenarios exercise. What do you mean the constituency work? The, the constituency development planning. Oh yeah, oh, type of work. Certainly, all right. Yeah, that, that, that we did quite okay. a few, mm -hmm. and they were in this constituency development work. Mm -hmm. I think I, there's something I need to mention. Sure. About again the power of research mm -hmm. and this cross pollination of conversations. Mm -hmm. So we went to, I think it may have been Bungoma, mm -hmm. somewhere in Western, anyways, mm -hmm. and we realized that we just do, we bring in the agriculture, the office, government, different government officers at that level mm -hmm. and, you know, NGO workers. Mm -hmm. And we have these conversations about what, where should the constituency be going? And as we have this conversation, we, we one of the, um, it may have been Ugenya, if I'm not wrong, but anyways, in one of those workshops, this old man comes in driving a Mercedes, mm. can barely speak a word of English. Mm. And so we have this back and forth mm. and and people have all manner of excuses why Ugenya, it was Ugenya, mm -hmm. cannot be richer than it is. Mm. So because at that time, the data was showing at that time, 80% of people are poor. Right. And so we are having discussions and mm. man, yeah, that man in his pissed English, mm. that, that old man in his pissed English mm. says that's not true. People mm -hmm. have all manner of excuses. Mm. So the peculiar thing about this constituency at the time mm -hmm was that the average farm sizes were five acres. Mm -hmm. But what the people preferred to do mm -hmm. was to lease them out to outsiders mm. so that they come and do commercial farming. You get your 30,000 per season mm. and then the person takes off with the harvest and the, the money they make out of the harvest. Mm. But what we realized is that the climate is exactly the same as the other side of Uganda. Mm. If you look at the soil, the, 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 it is so fertile. Mm. The river, they, they have many sources of water. Mm -hmm. And yet Uganda on the other side mm. was producing and supplying to Kenya, mm. to these households, mm -hmm. like half of what they needed. Mm. And yet they had the capacity now from the agricultural officer mm. to actually farm. If they farmed optimally, they mm. had the capacity to produce mm. and meet the food needs of the constituency mm. and actually sell mm. to other constituencies. Mm. So we did very simple math. Mm. I wish I thought I would talk about this. Mm. I'll mm. give you the actual numbers. Mm. And we, we talked about the fact that this mm. constituency was mm. actually losing millions of shillings to mm. Uganda traders oh for money that would be circulating within, within the, the, cons county. The, the constituency. Mm. You know? Mm. And so those types of discussions, mm. and this old man says, and that that the culture of the people is the issue. Mm. We keep complaining about politics mm. and about all oh, the weather and mm. this and that, mm. but the culture. And so we went into the details of how the first home, unless the first homestead or the first wife plants, mm. the others cannot plant. Mm. We went into, but, mm. but, but this man, he's rich. He said, no, mm. I am not rich. We, and then we did a field trip to his mm. farm mm. and he had five acres, mm -hmm. three acres he had planted trees mm -hmm. to sell to Kenya Power mm. uh, when they grew mm. and these three acres he had done bananas. Mm. And do you know that man was so successful that people would come from different parts of the country to pick bananas from his farm. Mm. And he said, do you know something? I borrowed my first sucker. Wow. And he said, the issue is not resources. Mm. The issue is the attitude of the people. It is. And the interesting thing is that mm. his next door neighbor, his the roof was falling off. Really, mm. it was a destitute home. Mm. Mm. And so I happened to ask, mm. but you know, you say that, but have you practiced? He mm. says, I have tried in my neighborhood to give people mm. and everybody just refuses mm. to work. Mm. And so he says, development is also not just about money. Mm. It's not just about research. Mm. It's not just about, um, you know, all these things, government projects, mm. it is also about attitude and cultures of That's people. Right. Mm. Because this, the, now then the narrative had become, remember mm. they're leasing land. Mm. Do you know how much an average harvest would mm. gain? Mm. The person who leased the land would get mm. average of 300,000 shillings. Mm. And so imagine, they don't mm. pay by the way the 30,000 upfront. Mm. It's after they harvest and sell, they pay you your 30K and they go off. 
they don't own a farm and then now the narrative became to nanyanyaswa hmm. do you see so it becomes that actually the better part of this development resources hmm. should have gone into wow building yeah. or sort of like working on the mindsets and the culture mm. of the people mm. the attitude to change. be able to turn each of these farmers who mm. with an average of mm. 5 mm. acres of land mm. into what into mm. this 300,000 yeah. shillings that yeah. are circulating yeah. Yeah. within yeah that instead of going out yeah. needs to come mm. so th that's another interesting dynamic mm. right there mm. Mm. and then again research is able to to surface to, these things to surface that document conversations document yeah so once we did that mm -hmm. we started now saying if people even considered the ministry of housing mm -hmm. had this makiga uh, technology the building technology where you don't use cement right, right. and the the, the mm. officer did for us a costing mm -hmm. and he said with 300,000 circulating in households mm -hmm. per season, mm. we could have a loan arrangement mm. whereby we, we have this technology mm -hmm. to people mm. to actually provide for them to build more permanent houses. Mm. Mm. But he said, we have this forum, but we sit in our offices mm -hmm. and not one person mm. has ever come to ask for help from mm. us mm. to be able to do this. Oh dear. So on one hand, you realize that development is also not just about starting new projects. Mm. And which is what we realized for, at that time with CDF, mm. it was about brick and mortar. Mm. Every you know MP wanted to say, mm. "This is what I do," mm. but mm. the point was mm. that it doesn't need to be brick and mortar. Mm. Sometimes it is the soft issues mm. that need to be addressed mm. for you to actually uh, 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 realize development. Absolutely. And so it is much more complex than we realize, yeah. and yet simple. Yeah. 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 It's. Uh, yeah it's it's across the yeah it's across the board so those are some of the lessons oh, wow. that then i carried over to sid yeah